All right, so I uh, I took a look at the the run that you linked me. Um, I wrote some stuff down, and I figured we can kind of mix and match between like I can maybe show you some different strats that might be easier for you, um, or maybe some you know more consistent strategies that you might not know about, um, and then maybe also like have you share your screen and I can talk you through through some other points, um, and you know we'll see. Uh, which bits like I've I've written like a priority list for like the things that are easily fixable and that will save you a lot of time and then you know okay if we move on to more things and there's more minor stuff later on so I first things first um, I noticed that sometimes you you have issues with jury fury um, specifically yes. the dupe setup and if you if you fail it um it will usually be a reset obviously in a marathon setting you don't want to be resetting six minutes in um if it does go wrong so i think a really important thing would be to learn uh, if you're not already familiar was is how to do the mission so a lot of people don't know how to do the mission efficiently if they do mess it up um so i do know how to do the mission um mm -hmm. uh, I actually, it's been a very, very long time since I've done the mission. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I that just that never occurred to me. Yeah. So um, there's two different things. One is really important. Um, well, I guess they're both important. But but the the first one that a lot of people um, don't realize is, I'm sure you've seen it before, where you walk in the marker just a little bit too late for the dupe, and you get stuck inside the cutscene where you can hear it, but Tommy is stood outside of Ken's office and you're just forced to listen to the audio. I've never actually gotten that before. Okay, well... But just in case I do it, get it... It does like, happen, I know what I yes. Do. Um, so that cutscene seems like a soft lock, but all it is is you are literally just, like, inside the cutscene, but just with control of the camera. So all you need okay. to do is just sit and wait out the cutscene and the dupe will still succeed. You lose like 30 oh, nice. seconds, but who cares, right? There's no need to reset there over something so minimal, especially in a marathon setting. Um, so yeah, that was number one. And then number two um, was about actually doing jury for itself. So um, if you want to boot up the game and then, or if you, I see you're already playing it. Um, if you want to share your screen so I can see what you're doing, um, I'll send you a save over for um, like the jury fury setup. And then I'm going to make you intentionally fail it and then do a backup for it. Okay? Okay. I'll find the save in the meantime. Start that one again. Yeah. <laughs> Need to start the mission first. It's, it's, it's tricky okay. with saves that you haven't used before. I can... Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I had the exact same thing. I've, I've been uh, practicing GTA 3 recently, and um, the save archive on speedrun.com is really good, but they use like glitched vehicles to make sure they don't despawn, and I constantly park them in cutscenes and like soft lock myself because they get blocked oh, and no. stuff like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm constantly making those mistakes that you'd never do in a run, but you'd do, in, you'd do because of the saves. Right. Yeah. Uh, so while you're on your way, um, a couple of things that I wrote down in the early section um, that we can look on later, but they're pretty minimal, but I figured I'd just mention them while, you know, got a few minutes to just chill. Um, the, I noticed when you death warp with the Molotov right at the start of the game, uh, you jump into the little, the little pool and drown. Um, yes. That is actually just completely slower than just burning because... You are oh. still dropping dead, but then Tommy has an extra animation of him like coming up for air, you know, when he's drowning, and then dropping dead. Yes. Uh, whereas if you burn to death, then he just drops to the ground dead. Um, so yeah, if okay. you if you see other runs, you'll see that people just like throw Molotovs at the floor and just wait until you you burn to death. Um, that's a free couple of seconds there. Yeah. I used to do, free. Yeah, I used to do the exact same thing. I would drown because it, it like it does make your health go down faster because you're dying from the fire damage and the water. But yeah, it's actually slower overall because of the drowning animation. Okay. I 
I was uh, I was very happy to see as well when you go into the Raphael's marker that you um, deliberately like smack into it rather than pressing F to bail off. Do you know the reason why that's done, or is it just uh, coincidence? Um, I don't actually know the reason why that's done. I basically okay. just followed your tutorial on that. Okay, but, well that's good. I, I like a man who can just listen to instructions. You know, <laughs> that's, that's good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the reason is, is because for some reason, if you bail off like into the marker, sometimes there's a glitch where Tommy will try and run back to the Faggio, even though it's despawned, and then you oh, have no. to run all the way back to the Faggio and back again to the freeway, and there's no way to like, okay. stop that. Yeah. So I have actually gotten that glitch quite a few times, and I didn't yes. know that's what caused it. So the reason you prevent that, or the way you prevent that, is uh, by actually smacking into the marker, and that it'll never happen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fun fact, back in like 2016, when MHMD's 5301 was the world record, he got that glitch and it cost him two seconds. So he would have 52'd <laughs> if it wasn't for that. <laughs> so. you, you always think to yourself, you know, oh, it might not mess me up, but, you know. It does. Sometimes it can make a real difference, yeah. All right, good stuff. So when do you usually play this replay? Does it depend on uh, like how you're feeling or? Um... It's how I'm feeling basically. Yeah. Because sometimes I like playing it safe and just giving myself a ton of time to mm -hmm. get to Jerry Fury. Yep. But actually for this one where I want to fail it intentionally, I probably could have started the replay way back there. Yeah, of course. So uh, if you're playing like as optimally as possible on a Molotov, you can play it like as soon as you gain control, but obviously that creates less leeway. In a marathon setting, yep. I definitely think it's fine to do it as you're getting to the Infernus because it's much better to lose um, 10 seconds while you're just waiting extra than it is to lose a minute doing the mission intentionally, right? Exactly. Like, it's all about safety. Um, so yeah, there's no problem with starting it later though, um, especially because traffic can mess you up and you know there's a lot of things that are out of your control. Like for me, or at least back no alley brawlers. outside the hotel. Yeah, exactly. So that was another thing I wanted to mention. Um, so there's a number of choices that you can always get when you get no choice of car up like in the cutscene. And what okay. you want to do, um, if possible, is you want to run onto like the oncoming lane, traffic coming towards you, and steal something there. And the reason for that is because unless there's a cop right next to you, you will never get a wanted level for stealing the car. But if you take the fixed spot spawn that you'll see, I think it's like a burrito or something now, if you get a car alarm, then you will always get a wanted level if a cop sees you. So, I've gotten lucky a couple times recently, but yeah, there's yeah. that huge risk. Exactly. And cops on this street that you're turning into now can spawn very frequently. So if you have a car alarm when it's ringing, you will, won't get the call and you'll be screwed. So yeah, always try and steal a car on the oncoming lane if you can. Okay. And it looks like the oncoming lane worked out pretty well. Exactly, yeah. Sometimes you get a bike. Obviously, sometimes you get like ass, you get like a Hermes or something really slow, but you will always make it, even if you get a horrible uh, car. Yeah. Like, you have more than enough time. I've, I've made it with slow cars plenty of times. Yeah. So, uh, just let the timer run out. Deliberately don't go in, uh, just to make sure that you do fail it. It's nothing worse than accidental success, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, okay, so now just hop in the mission, okay. hop in the marker normally. Okay. Now... The, as you can see here, this is huh. the, the saved ambulance. Yeah, this would be despawned yes. in a run. You would never see this. Okay, so obviously Faggio is the first thing you want to get on yep. instantly. And then you want to head uh, north first. So yeah, keep going north up here and just head okay, straight. the other one. Yes, exactly. And you want to switch to the, uh, you know, the PCJ at PCJ Playground, just up on up on yes. your right here as it's coming up. You want to grab that as soon as possible. I see a lot okay. of runners using the Faggio the whole way, but like since these are long straight drives, the PCJ will save you so much time. So. Is this one I get nervous about because if I steal it during, um, I guess like the beginning missions, it yep. tends to crash the game every time. Yeah, because you're on, on mission zero, back alley brawl. Obviously you start PCJ yep. playground and back alley brawl at the same time and yeah, you'll crash the game. So Oops. there is a way you can deal with that uh, by just pushing it out of the zone. Uh, but we won't worry about that just yet. Uh, yeah, so park uh, it out of the way, and all you want to do now is pull out the shotgun that you have, and you just shoot it twice. And you see it instantly trigger okay. the cutscene. 
And the same goes for the other car. The only difference with the other car is there's like a set piece where he's supposed to get into his car, drive forward, get hit by a truck, and then stop, and then you keep doing more damage. But it's the same thing applies. You just hit him twice, and then the set piece will, you know, go on, and you can just drive away, and it will just finish on its own. Okay. So yeah, uh, this route, you just take the road straight down. So super easy route. You can't mess it up. Oh, that was a big bump Watch there. Watch out for physics. <laughs> yeah, be very careful. <laughs> Yeah. So it's just a straight drive. You just obviously be careful of traffic, but I mean, that just comes with time. Um, learning what to deal with spawns and stuff. Looking away like that is great. And then, yeah, just shoot this car twice and drive off. And then you can just leave. So there you go. Mission passed. So to say, you only lose like a minute doing this. So, like, okay. it's really not a big deal if something goes wrong. Um, in the marathon and you do mess it up like you don't need to worry about resetting or anything like that okay uh, so another thing really quick um, if you just head to like slightly to your west you see there's a bunch of grass yes uh, are you familiar with how to I... so if you drive forward now and you just hold S to brake uh, you'll notice that you kind of slide right yep and the same goes for like any kind of non-pavement terrain um, I, I'm not, I don't think you use this in your run, so I guess you don't know about it, but if you hold S and your handbrake, which for me would be space, you brake as you normally would, so you don't slide oh, nice. at all. So you see, yeah, there's no sliding better. whatsoever. Yeah. That'll, that help was... pick, that'll help picking up the shotgun. Exactly. So it's the perfect time where you can just let go of W and just coast, and then as soon as you pull up to the bench, hold both keys, and you'll just go straight towards it instead of, you know, sliding around and having a poor angle and whatnot. Yeah. All right. Okay, perfect. So uh, next up, uh, we're going to look at Guardian Angels. So, so the first thing that you want to do is um, obviously heal if you need to. Um, there's health just at the top on the roof. Uh, it's not necessary, but, you know, you have infinite time, so you may as well if you need to. Um, so if you're, on the, if you're on anything but 100 health, you may as well just grab this. Um, you can do this nifty little jump off the wall in order to I mess it up. You don't take any damage, but yeah, it's just dicking around at this point. Okay, and then, so these guys all have ammo that you want, right? Because you want to get as much ammunition right. ammunition as possible for here. Um, especially because later on with Shakedown and whatnot, as I saw in your run, you can sometimes get really unlucky windows, and you can end up spending 300 bullets on those windows. So it's best to just get as many guns as you can. And you can end up with like 800 bullets here if you do everything well. So okay. what you want to do is you want to look at your minimap. And as soon as you see the first uh, yellow blip of the first car spawning, that is when it is safe to kill these guys. If you kill them beforehand, you'll fail the mission because you like ambush the deal or whatever. Right. Okay. So all that I do is I pull out the chainsaw. I wait until I see this car spawning. And then you just go one, two, three, four, and just nuke these guys. And then... Not Diaz. Not Diaz, exactly. Not Diaz and not Lance. These are the two <laughs> important boys. Yes. Um, so it's preference as to whether you take the Tech 9 or the Uzi. I personally really prefer the Uzi because this thing is a fucking pea shooter. Like, it does no damage whatsoever. So the Uzi is, like, better DPS. Um... But it doesn't matter which one you take, as long as you switch to the Uzi at some point, like during the end of the mission, when the last guy drops the Uzi, you can switch on the run back. Um, but as long as you have an Uzi at the end of the mission, because obviously faster fire rate for things like Shakedown, where you just need to throw bullets at windows, will save you a lot of time. Whereas using the Tech 9 for the entire run will like lose way more time than you think. So uh i grabbed the uzi here one of diaz's men drops it again you can pick up the tech nine it's completely up to you um and then just make sure that you grab all the ammo that you see so every other spawn after this spawns on a timer it doesn't matter if you kill them now or kill them later like they all spawn you know after so many seconds um so you don't have to worry about always being perfectly on top of killing everyone so you can take time to get you know ammo and stuff if you want as you can see like these guys are pulling up and i i don't even care and then these guys you can just chainsaw you can just because they all stand in the same spot so you can just mark them really easily and then just yeah make sure you collect all the ammo uh these guys you know about um 
Are you familiar with like the double explosion here, which can sometimes mess you up? I am not. Okay, so um, if you blow up a car while someone is getting out of it, it will explode twice. And obviously, if you go and pick up ammo and then you get hit with the explosion, you'll be on like 10 health because um, it does 83 damage to you. So, uh, yeah, you got to be very careful here. Um, so make sure that you shoot this on an angle as well, like this. It's kind of like diagonal, as you can see. I'm not shooting it straight on because sometimes your bullets go through the van um, if you shoot I straight. I've had that happen before. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, watch out for the double explosion. You'll see it on fire. Um, but if not, then you can just run and grab the ammo. As you can see, I have like 750 bullets, which is like more than enough. Okay, so for this, uh, what I do is I line myself up um, just to, you know, it doesn't really matter where you stand, but what's important is that you want to get these two, like their heads kind of close to each other. Okay? And then okay. this guy at the back, you want to kill as soon as possible because he is the one who runs over here towards Lance. And this is the guy who runs towards you. So he's a lot easier to hit the second time around. And then all I do is just hover my like left index finger over F3. You shoot this guy in the head as he comes out and then flick down to this guy's head. As soon as you hit his head, F3. Um, you're familiar with the strat, of course. But then this is the important part. So I saw that in your run, uh, you line up like a snipe here. But if you do this strat, uh, which is you wait until you see Tommy with his control and then you sprint into this wall. And if you, if you just sprint straight forward, you'll just push yourself along the wall, if you see. And then as soon as okay. like Tommy gains sight of the alleyway, you can shoot and you'll just be perfectly lined up to kill him in the cutscene. Then you never have to bother with a snipe. He's already dead. And you can just pick up and grab the Uzi if you need to. And then just finish the mission. Okay. So. I, I didn't know that you could just line it up that easily. Yeah, exactly. In the so it's a lot to take in, so it might take a bit of practice, but having this down consistently is like what separates the men from the boys in terms of like early game consistency, because you can lose so much time here. Um, yeah. Do you know the audio cue for when to like the movement in this cutscene? Um, yes, I do. It's all down to you, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, so he says, you know, I live dickheads and it's all down to you. And when you press U is when you stop holding DNS and then press F to get on the bike. Exactly. All right. So that's nice and easy. Um, but yeah, so I would say uh, I'll give you another save for Guardian Angels and we'll just drill it a couple of times until because obviously there's a lot of information to take in. I'll just keep relaying it to you until it gets stuck in your head and then we'll go from there. Okay. okay? So this oh, one. I need to start the replay, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, this time, obviously, you can just drive there and do it normally. Um, yep. I'll show you the place where you can place the bike without despawning it, so you can keep it. This is done in all missions runs, because you don't have this replay. Uh, you you take an early close replay. Okay. Uh, so then, but yeah, every other time, then you'll just be able to teleport as normal. Um, because you'll need to... Um, Actually, I think it'd be better to drive every single time because obviously you'll need to make the close replay as well. Okay, so you see this blue door just on the left of the Kruger? Yep. If you park against there, your bike won't despawn. And then you can use it. And he said it's better for me to drive there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because if you if you teleport every single time, then obviously you'll have to remake the replay anyway because you'll have a closed replay that you're about to make. So unless you want to like keep both replays and switch out, but that would be kind of annoying. It's only a short drive. So. Ah. We can take a look at this garage exit at some point, but this, this is a perfect lesson. Okay, so do you know how to get Lantern stuck here? No, I do not. Okay. That would be a very good lesson. Drive down as normal, like to the close replay. And then just land. And then get off the bike. And flick your camera like a madman. Shake. Shake the camera. And then look around. Okay, run away a bit more. I guess because you're close to the building. And do the same thing. And now look. Oh, hey, it's Lance. He teleports to you. 
Okay, that is good to know because yep. I have left Lance in the garage many times. Yes, it's very easy to do. Uh, the garage exits are pretty tricky, but you know we'll focus on walk before we can run, so to speak. Uh, but yeah, so as long as if he's still following you, so it doesn't work if you've got so far away to where it's like, you know, hey, Lance is left, you need, you need to go back and get him, then it won't work. Um, but yeah, as long as he's still close enough to be following you, you just run away, flick your camera like a madman, and he'll teleport to you. So you can get him out of the building okay. nice and easily. And that applies to anything. If he gets stuck anywhere, sure. you can save his ass, basically. All right, so same as before, um, just hop on up and start it. Not with the chainsaw yet. Yeah, not with the chainsaw That's yet. Slow. So as soon as you spawn in, double back around onto the roof, pick up the health. Oh yeah, because oh, of the bike. Again. Yeah, it's because the bike is glitched in the cutscene. Yeah, but it's fine. I have a this, clip of this. Yeah, this mission has a fail safe, so it's all good. Yeah, they'll, they'll make it through eventually. There you go. All right, so pick up the health, and then drop down, and prepare the chainsaw, and then look at the map. As soon as they spawn in, or just now, one, two. Uh, if you, yeah, if you're holding W. Oh, oh I killed Diaz. <laughs> he's, he's fine. No, he'll I be, didn't. You'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. So grab the Uzi. You're just gonna protect him well now. Yep. Oh, he died. Now okay. Diaz is dead. Yeah. So one, two behind Diaz, and then one, two in front of him. Okay. I have my clothes replaced, so I have to go back to the garage again. Yeah, exactly. But it's only a short drive, so it's fine. Yeah. We'll need to do the clothes replay this time, though. True. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the close replay you can't really skip out on here because it's uh, it's very necessary for the mission. Yes. Do you always drive with such a close camera? I do. Okay, interesting. I thought you used the uh, the standard one in a car. That one seemed awfully zoomed in, but maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe. I haven't done anything to the camera. So it should be behaving like it normally does when I run. Do you not think it feels a little zoomed in compared to normal? I haven't noticed, but I've been busy trying to learn what you're telling me. Yeah, so yeah. I haven't been paying a ton of attention. I mean, if, if, if it works, and it actually, works. Actually, you are right. This is very zoomed in. Okay. Yeah. So just mash V a couple of times. Um, there's like the three cameras, the far away one, then the normal one. Yeah. There you go. This feels better. Yes. I was going to say, because I, I wasn't paying too much attention either, but I was like, I swear you use the standard camera. Because I don't know anyone who uses the super zoomed in one. It's kind of hard to see when you have that one. Yeah, it's very low field of vision, field of view, and it goes the opposite way as well. So for GTA 3 and San Andreas, I use like the super distant one, um, but Vice City, it's like you're playing at like 1500 field of view. It's impossible to see yeah. what you're doing. So I'm forced to play with the standard one. All right. So yeah, same again, but the two guys behind Diaz and the two guys in front. You know, make sure you don't like hold swipe the whole way through. And um, whenever you're doing chainsawing stuff, always make sure that you hold W so you have like the running hit because it okay. does like constant damage rather than like the standing swipe is just, you know, one hit. Right. But the holding W is just constant damage so you can just massacre people. So yeah. Exactly, just cut them in a straight line and then just do the same for the guys in front. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Nice. And then, yeah, grab the Tech 9 and the Uzi. It's completely up to you. And then, yeah, just uh, aim for headshots whenever you can because obviously one bullet to the head is a kill. So it's uh, easier. But, you know, a couple of shots to the chest is also fine. Yep. Ammo. 
And then for these guys, just chainsaw them. Same again, just hold W and left click. And just, yep, destroy them all. Get the ammo, yep. Good. Yep, that's good. Yep, same thing. And then, yep, just line up so you have both the heads lined up. Um, kill the guy at the back first. Perfect. And then, yeah, make sure you run up to the right. Um, wait until you can see Tommy, of course. And then, yeah, head to the... My angle's off. It's because you... Um... Yeah. I pressed the button during the cutscene, didn't I? No, no, no. So um, you can't sprint with the Kruger. So you want to make sure that you have the Tech-9. Okay. Uh, just, like, flick up once with your scroll wheel or press Q, depending on what you use to switch weapons. Um, because... During the cutscene? Yes, exactly. Because it will okay. force you into the Kruger automatically. Uh, because the game expects you to snipe him with it. And it's like, expected yeah. to be used for the mission as well. So um, how do okay. you usually switch weapons? Is it scroll wheel? Scroll wheel. Yeah, okay. So just scroll up once so you have your SMG. And then you can sprint into position so you have a lot more time to line it up. Okay. All right. Run the ropes again. It's unfortunate that there's, you know, no easy way to practice the middle of the mission, but I mean, yep. drilling it is the only way. In order to practice it would be this nice and if... gate zip, I have to do the whole thing. Yep. It Actually, would... not gate zip, but... Gate zip is one of those things, um, I'm going to teach you a backup for the gate zip, actually, uh, because I noticed you do sometimes struggle with it. Um, but if you do fall off your bike, it's really not a big deal, and you can try it as many times as you want. Um while still keeping the call so we'll go into that later on but yeah okay same principle applies it's it's very minor so. so i practiced it during my last stream and i think i figured out what i was doing wrong but backups are always good mm -hmm. yeah what I'll also do is um, all the stuff that we cover, I'll record separate videos with inputs so you can see exactly what I'm doing and I'll send them over to okay. you if you want to practice them in your own time just to see you know exactly what's going on um, Okay. and you know compare between the two. I think that'll be a good way of doing it. Yep. Yes. Inputs are good. Yeah. Because obviously on screen share you, uh, you know Sometimes it's impossible to know exactly what somebody's doing, even if you have that game knowledge yep. as to what's going on. Yeah. And even sometimes key presses can get lost during gist cord audio. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, same thing. Yeah. Two guys at the back, two guys at the front. Stood too close to him. Yeah, it's all good. Not a big deal. But the more you drill it, the more you'll build it into your memory. So yeah. Uh, use the Kruger for all these guys, just because it's easier to kill them. You don't switch to the Tech 9 until the final section. I'll tell you when. Uh, that guy is stuck under the bike. Uh, he's uh, still alive. Yeah. This is Kruger, all Kruger, wonderfully. Kruger. Get the Kruger out and kill him. Okay, I think yeah, I'm going to reset this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was pretty unfortunate with the bike. Yeah, the uh, yep. the the guys in the voodoo hit the bike and then knocked it into the guy and he got stuck underneath. So, yeah, that's something that would never happen in a run because the bike won't be there. I guess what you could do is um, instead of putting the bike into the marker, just park a little bit away 
and then run into the marker with Lance, just so you have how it would look in a run. Okay. And also that would prevent the Cubans from being confused. Exactly, yeah. And it'll speed up your uh, your drills a little bit. Yep. Oh, that was fun. should work they drive straight down the middle so i'd be surprised if they got stuck this game has surprised me in many ways <laughs> yeah me too i uh, you think you've seen it all and then the game always amazes you There was a stretch, not during this current push, but like a previous one a few months ago, where nearly every stream, the game surprised me in just a hilariously entertaining way. <laughs> I do always enjoy uh, learning new things about this game, even if sometimes it's at my, uh, you know, my my demise. Exactly. So you don't worry about getting every single gun. It's nice if you do, but if you miss one, don't worry about it. It's more about getting the rhythm of, you know, killing everyone as they come in. It's the most important part. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That would hurt me last time. Oh. Exactly. Bye. Yeah, so this one you don't have to worry. You can just go up and help Lance, because you've got so much time to wait for the van to spawn. Yeah, you can just... Uh, Lance, deal with it. But yeah. In the future, just run up there and kill him on your own. Okay. Because Lance may die. It's it's happened before. He's it's very dumb. Me. Yep. All right. So same Next thing. Time, could he grab that? Perfect. And then yeah, scroll up once, and just wait scroll until up. you see Tommy, and then sprint towards the wall, on the right hand side. Oh, you actually landed on the bike. That's impressive. Yeah. Yep, there he goes. Yeah. So, uh, the the bit that you seem to be struggling with is just to line up with the wall. You seem to be still sticking to the left side. I imagine that's like yes. muscle memory. Um, it is muscle memory. All right. So, I will quickly boot up the game. Let's and I'll go. is that you're doing handbrake turns and I'm not. Uh, yes, exactly. Usually just um, a, a tap of the handbrake, like as you're going around a corner, is just enough to get a nice drift and then you can continue accelerating rather than, you know, killing all of your speed straight away. Okay. Uh, yes. All right. Plus you face the bike the opposite way I do, which saved you some seconds there. Yeah. Uh, that's just an all missions thing because that's, you know, just muscle memory from there. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, one thing you can do if you want to be like extra optimal here if you have lands with you is instead of like flinging yourself off the building you can just drop down and then you'll land right next to the close icon and then you can oh. just park the bike up here and then if you want to be super duper optimal you can press f and then make the replay as you're getting on and then you have the close replay really short 
Uh, but that's, yeah, something that I would save for a rainy day. Bust it out. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. If only the Hermes wasn't the widest car in the game, I would have made that. <laughs> that's my bad. All right, Lance, let's go. See, this is why you grab the health. <laughs> in yep. case you just get mauled at the uh, at the start. This guy's turning. Yep. All right, I will do the same thing. I'll starting this mission sometimes too. Yep. I'll make sure that the bike is nice and far out of the way. Okay. So I would recommend trying it with the Uzi. Um, just because I personally find it easier because when when Tommy has the Uzi and you shoot, you stop. So you're always sure of your position. You know, you don't have to run and shoot at the same time. And I feel like it's a lot simpler. So I'll run you through it the same way. And I'll also record a video with inputs as well, just so you have it for future reference. And maybe I can redeem myself by doing the nifty little jump here. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I just line up here with the chainsaw. And as you saw, make sure you hold W first and you're running first, and then just hold left click and just nuke these guys. And then always make sure I grab the Uzi first. You know, no no rush to kill these guys really, because they say they're all on a timer. You don't have to spawn kill them. They all just stand there and shoot, as you can see. Like their AI, AI is terrible. And then same here again, you can just pre-hold it and just let them run into the blade massacre them and I said so here would be a perfect time if the guy runs away you have so much time to defend Lance and still be here in time okay and then as it spawns make sure you shoot show it slightly to the left or the right grab the ammo these guys are. Okay, so I've just scrolled up once on my mouse. I'm not touching anything on my keyboard until I see Tommy. Then all I do is I run to the right hand side, hold W and sprint until I'm lined up. I slightly mess it up there, <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you exactly what I mean. So when Tommy is in this kind of position and you run towards it, you see how he gets like pushed past the post like this. Yes. This is exactly where you are at the perfect lineup to just hold and take him out like that. Uh, of course, I was too far to the right, so I got pushed the other way because uh, yep. I haven't done this in six months. But yeah, you can see, like, no matter how you line up, as long as you are, like, majority to the left, you will always get pushed into the perfect position to then shoot him. And the same applies if you, um, if you do mess it up like I do. You are still in a per perfect position to watch him and snipe him the whole way with the Kruger as well. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, so I'll go through it again just uh, just to show you, you know. Of course, a demonstration, you mess it up. But that's what happens when I play other games. Yep. I, I wish I had the kind of skill to be able to, like, efficiently run all three trilogy games at once and be as good as, you know, I always uh, have been when I'm grinding the game. But unfortunately, I don't possess that talent. I I lose my skill very quickly when I haven't played for a while. Unfortunately. There. All in all the action I see. You can see even uh, yeah. even people who've been playing this game for years struggles with these damn exits. Sometimes they feel just uh, random. I swear I do the same thing every time, but <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't let me through. Hello, officer. Don't mind me. Just chilling. He's fine. Yeah, he's, he's, he's fine. Don't worry about him. Let's uh, let's show this a little more clean. Hopefully this time. Let's keep this bike Ray. out. Must be called 
this new gun. Still more gainful opportunities arise. We'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Shouldn't come in back. Somehow we connect. Acting drunk even though we're sober. We shoot the food, but we keep out of fires. Don't wait for me, cause we're scared of the silence. We shoot the food, but we keep out of fires. Fires, fires, fires. Twice in a row. I would say it's, uh, you know, a skill of mine, but it isn't. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four. Uzi. It's mine. Headshots, headshots. Just grab each gun as they come. One, two. As you can see, your aim doesn't matter. They'll all just run into your bullets anyway. Here, just set yourself up so you're just running into them all and you can just spray like a madman again if one runs away you have plenty of time and you can still be right on time for these guys So run scroll up, don't touch anything, as soon as it goes to about here just start running forward and then line up and just get yourself pushed off like that There you go. and then you have the perfect opportunity for a snipe. So as okay. I say, you can kill him in the cutscene with the Uzi, it's completely up to you because you'll have that line up. If you feel more comfortable just hitting with the snipe, you know, he'll be right here right in front of you, so it's completely up to you. And then... Let's uh, let's do some gate zip stuff, shall we? Sure. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliberately, uh, you know, fall off and get the phone call, and I'm going to show you how you can easily save it. So, what I've seen you do is if you fall off and you get the call, you will just stand there and answer it, and then drive, you know, intentional strats, basically. Yes. Uh, so. Uh, what I will do instead is first I'll throw myself at this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the call. You're familiar with holding calls, right? Yep. Yep. So I'm going to hold my caps lock, which is my hold call key. I'm going to hop back on and then I'm just going to try again. Okay. Never occurred to me you could do this with this call also. And then I'm going to go to the call and off we go. So glitching phone calls is like kind of tricky um because you're already holding the call so you need to press tab and then let go um if that makes sense so let go of like uh oh sorry the other way around so like you let go of um your hold call key whatever it is and then you right click instead of pressing tab or whatever the key is okay so that might take a little getting used to but you can just wait for any call to come in and just practice that uh, but the most important part is that you're not like sitting at the gate like a, an idiot waiting to be let in. You are, you know, getting yourself in. Yep. But yeah, so if any call comes through, you can just practice holding it and then glitching it like this. From holding it, which is nice and easy. Alright, so if you see on my screen still, I have your video up. Yes. And uh, your rub out, rub out is a very easy mission uh, to do quick. And I noticed that you were. Uh, struggling with it a little bit, so I will show you a nice, nice, easy free time save here. So I think here's we're about, or just after we're about. Okay, let's go. So here, um, what you want to do is you want to have your fists out, and instead of shooting these guys like very slow, and you know he might not die because of the Tech Nine and a bunch of awkward stuff you can just use the chainsaw here to just massacre these guys and the same goes for diaz as well so instead of using the uh like the standing thing uh, you w. can yeah you can chainsaw him like super easily through the wall so so um there is a, a strat where you can set up a slide to get like a bit more optimal movement just as you gain control but i wouldn't worry about that this isn't really a big deal okay so i'm gonna switch to my fists here and this is where I would recommend using Q and E to switch uh, weapons. So I'm going to press Q, oh, sorry, E, and I'm just going to massacre this guy. Then I'm just going to run through. 
if I can clip through. There we go. And then you see where Diaz is here? This is the wall that he's like hid behind because they placed him like, you know, hidden away until you hit the certain trigger. But if you just walk into the wall like this and then just hold left click, dead. And then from here, there's two ways to get around to like the end trigger. There's either this little staircase here. If you imagine the mansion, like this is the, the main yep. stair set and you just go to the right and with where Lance would spawn and then the trigger is right here. Or the other one is uh, just down the main stairs and you hit the trigger in front of you right here. So this is the one that I use because it's uh, a bit faster and you just go into it and then run towards the arch and bam, mission That's done. That's the one I use too. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about shooting him with the pea shooter or anything like that. Um, all you need to do is just run up with your fist, switch to the chainsaw, and just nuke everyone. And it will be 100% consistent and much faster than what you were doing. So, I'll show it again one more time. The longest part is the cutscenes that you have to skip. <laughs> yep. It's a very quick mission. So yeah, just switch to fists. And then, just tap. E to switch, nuke this guy. Switch again. E again. Dead. Mission complete. You think you can do it? I think I can do it, but then right. again, you did make it look easy, so... I mean... Who knows how this is actually going to go. Thousands of hours later, you'll make everything look easy, too. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> uh, oh, right. sure. Yeah. So, right. I will stop my stream, and I want you to replicate it for me. Here is a save file, and let's see it. So yeah, switch to fists. Good. And then uh, just tap E once in order to get to the chainsaw once you get to him, and just do like the walking hit. I do not have that mapped. Oh, you don't have it bound? Okay. Um, no, I don't. You're welcome to use the scroll wheel if you want, if you think that would be easier. But the reason I don't use it is because obviously if you accidentally scroll down twice, you'll end up throwing a grenade at your feet and you'll kill yourself. <laughs> yes. So um, for these ones where it's just one press, I would very much recommend using Q and E. If you're not bound, if it's not bound to anything already, I would recommend setting that up. Uh, okay. But if you think the scroll wheel works for you, it's completely preference. Uh, me, I just fat finger the scroll wheel too much, so... Sure, I'm like sure to it's going to happen to me with days two. Yep. So, it's completely up to you. So, for this, it would just be obviously scrolling down once. It's the same thing. Yep. <laughs> Come on, door. There we go. Oh, yeah. Just make sure, you're, make sure you're running into the wall. Yep, so you're already running into it. And you may get a thing here, possibly. No, okay. Uh, so sometimes with that, where you only chainsaw him for a little bit and he falls over, sometimes he can do what we call like playing dead, which is where he falls over, but he's not dead. And then when you hit the cutscene, it will just be like the normal intentional one where you'll have to fight him. Uh, if that yes. happens, you can just M60 him down. It's no problem. Because uh, okay. he'll be right in front you of may you. Have, you may have noticed during my run that I made extra sure Diaz was dead, and that's why it's happened yes, to me. Yes, exactly. Um, so yeah, it's possible that you can knock him over, but not entirely kill him. Okay, so the biggest thing to remember here, and that will also help you for Guardian Angels, is whenever you use the chainsaw, you do not want to do that standing slash. You always want to make sure, before you hold left click, that you are just simply jogging into him. So the only input you should be pressing is just holding W, and then hold left click. And you will just do the constant, um, you know, slash that's just going to nuke people every second. All right, hey, I got it. Let's see it again. Nice. Okay. But this time, I want to see no standing slashes, okay? Okay. So, yeah. I'll see what I can do. So, when you're about a second away from running into the guy, then you want to pull out the chainsaw. Start holding W, and then start holding left click. And make sure that you're jogging towards him much better that is perfect and then the same for Diaz once you get to the wall make sure you hold it hold it until he falls over there you go so um, 
you don't need to do it in bursts. You know, like the the chainsaw doesn't have a, any kind of durability right. or anything like that. You can just hold left click until he's dead. Like you so always want to make it was sure. Holding, I thought it was holding left click, but I guess I wasn't. Or okay. I don't know. All right. One more time. I want to see if it was a fluke or if you've if you've nailed the uh, the chainsawing because this will be your best friend because you're gonna do it for so many different things. Perfect. That is exceptional. I could not do that better if I tried. Hold left click. Hold left click. Yeah, Don't stop until it. he dies. Really? Are you holding it the whole time? Yeah. Interesting. It only seems to do it in like short bursts. You can see Tommy there is like... Uh... Yeah. There you go. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm holding left click. Now it's working. Huh. I don't know what that was. Maybe it's um. Maybe it's because you're stood too close to the wall, perhaps. Um, like obviously, for example, maybe. when you do everything super fast, um, I just as soon as I'm about to hit the wall, I start holding left click. But obviously, I'm telling you to go right up to the wall first, and then, uh, and then actually doing it. So, uh, this time, same again, but just. A second before you're about to touch Diaz, exactly the same as how you nuke the um, the guy standing, the bodyguard outside, do the same to Diaz. So just as you're about to hit him, then start chainsawing, rather okay. than you know touching the wall and then hitting him. Because yeah, I trust that you you know you can hold left click. I think it might just be a proximity deal. So yeah. we we can easily test. That's uh, one of those runs. I just can't get through the door. Yeah. So if you get into a spot like this, um, just take a step back and uh, like basically throw yourself in again. Because sometimes you can hit like a certain angle and you won't be able to. Uh... That's doing it again. So I can hear you tapping a key. What key are you tapping? A sprint. Sprint. Okay, that might be why. Don't tap sprint. Just hold W okay. and hold left click. That's better. There you go. Yes. I think the sprinting is canceling it, and that was why. Okay. That appears to be it. Now, I can't kill Diaz for some reason. Yes, because you've knocked him back, because you hit him once, and then, like, he, he goes back okay. a bit. Okay. So, try it once more, but no sprinting once you have the chainsaw. No sprinting. Now we've discovered the issue. Yes. Uh, it should be, should be good. So, because you are destroying this guy, this bodyguard outside, which is perfect. Very nice. Ooh, that was nice. Yep. Very good. There you go. Look at That's that. That's better. Look at that. All right. So that's number one. I want to see this twice more to show that you've got it nailed in. And then okay. I say that we'll call that a session. Since it's been around an right. hour. And then if you'd be open to do uh, some other stuff. I have plenty more notes written down. These were just two that kind of screamed out at me. Um, but I, I definitely want to look at your uh, cherry popper dupes at some point. I know you had an issue with not being able to get to the van in time if you fall off. And you, you said you knew there was a backup, but you couldn't remember what it was. Yes, now I remember what it was. And yes. it is holding the phone call. Uh, no, so holding the phone call only works if you get to the van, but not to the bike. If you don't get to oh, the right. van, uh, the only thing that you can do is you cancel the call, and then it's about to come in 20 seconds later. You wait around 15 seconds, then get in the van, so then the call comes in as you get out of the van, and then you can hold the call and continue as normal. Okay. So I guess as a finale, I can show you that. Uh, but first, twice more of this. So I can demonstrate how to back that up because it's really important, obviously, because um, it's not a big deal. But if you don't know how to back it up, then it's catastrophic. If you yes. if you lose the momentum Jeez. there. All right, so I will quickly find a save in the meantime. I scroll down too far. Yes. As I mentioned, um, 
you will kill runs doing that. It happens. Um, one of the worst times that I did it and why I started using Q&E originally was because of the chainsaw that I do to the guy, the final guy on death row that's holding Lance hostage. The amount of times that I threw a grenade at Lance and killed him was ridiculous. <laughs> so I just start, I just had to make a change. All right, one more time. Oh dear. Oh, goodbye, grenade. <laughs> okay, that, that is okay time something. to throw a grenade, I guess. Yeah. At least if you throw it there, you're you're throwing it at a target that should die anyway. You know, not a friendly character. Yes. So that's all good. Alright, perfect. So uh one one question really quick to you. Uh if so you see on the last um on the last attempt that you did you run about 30 health because you ran into some trouble on the mission from here how would you heal what would be your thinking process if you're on 30 health and obviously you're going to have issues later on with the cops on shakedown how would you deal with it yes so i don't think at this point you have either of the icons in the mission or in the mansion correct uh, there is armor downstairs, but it's very far away. And there yes. is health downstairs, but there's something closer. To where you were just standing. I can save my game, can't I? You don't even need to save the game. If you walk into the save marker and then just hit escape to close it, it's it heals you to, f to full. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. So all you need to do is just walk into the save marker and then cancel it, and you're at full health again and good to go. That okay. is something that not a lot of people know. But yeah, so don't even need to save. And we'll call this the, uh, the oh no, oh shit, I'm about to lose the run. What do I do? Back up. This is what you do. Okay. So. Should be Instapass's start. Yep. So we have a silent phone call. I need to re-enter the bike because otherwise it will get knocked over in a second. Okay, I didn't know you could do that to make the bike not knock over. Yeah, it's just saves. nice for the saves. Okay, so let's say that I'm flying down here. I have rain and something goes wrong. And I go, whoa, oh no, I'm not going to make it in time anymore. Okay, it's like now I'm screwed. I'm never going to make it to the van in time. Yep. So let's see what we do. So we pull the bike up as normal. Uh, this terrain here, by the way, is exactly where you can do the the S and brake, a uh, handbrake, to make sure that you don't slide. Okay. Something, something you can use here. Okay, so the phone's gonna ring. I'm gonna cancel it. The phone, phone canceled at 53, okay? So I'm gonna count 15 seconds from there. So 2308 is when the phone's gonna come in, okay? Or when, you know, when I'm gonna make my next move. So I'm gonna wait until 08. I'm gonna hop in the van. I'm gonna get in and out. The phone is gonna ring. I'm going to hold it, and then I'm going to continue as normal. I don't have a save replay, but <laughs> yeah, right. you get the point. Yeah. Yeah. So all you need to do is just wait until a couple of seconds before the phone call is going to come in, and then uh, get into the van, and it will ring as it you know normally would. Okay. So I'll show you again. I'll make a save replay as well this time. So you properly... Okay. Oh yes, close. Of course. I've soft locked the bike now. Fantastic. I think this fixes it. Oops. Nope. Okay. Well, we've got the replay now anyway, so we can. Yes. Yeah. Close replays and entering animations is a uh, yeah, very tragic. But yeah, so uh, if you have the issue where like the bike gets knocked over when you're pushing it, yeah, you can just hold the call, get on and off, and then it now it's like properly stationed, so you can push okay. it all you want, and then just let go of the call and uh, thing like this. All right. So, exactly the same deal. Um, this time I obviously won't do the demonstration of falling off, you get the idea. I know how to fall off an ECJ. Yeah, <laughs> we all do. So yeah, somehow you don't make it on time and the call comes in. 
we cancel it. So bear in mind that when you actually cancel it is when the icons come back on the minimap, because that's when you go on mission zero, not when you press F to cancel the call, okay? So that was at 49, so I'm gonna wait until 04. Gonna hop in the van, that's normal. Do the insta pass, phone comes in, hop on, and continue as normal. Sound good? Yes. So that is how, even if you don't make it to the van on time, you can save the run and continue, no problem. All right. All right, and that'll be good because I always seem to have rain during my duping. Yes. Just because that, of what time I get there. Exactly, yeah. Um, it's very common. So you'll see as you go along, um, the faster you go, the easier the rain cycles actually become to deal with because right. uh, obviously it's based on how fast you are overall in the run um, and then you'll get it later and later. So if you're like world record contention, you won't see rain until you're already in KYFC to where it doesn't matter because you're inside. And then, yep. you know, as time goes on and on, it goes later and later and it becomes less of a problem. But yeah, during insta passes is like the perfect storm as to where it's like the worst place for it to be because doing those corners and stuff. Um, but you know how I mentioned about the sliding on grass? The same thing yes. applies to rain. So okay. if it's raining, um, I forget what the stormy weather cheat is. Cats and dogs. Okay. So um, as you can see, don't want to be sliding about too much. The exact same thing applies. So if you hold uh, brake and handbrake, you don't slide. Okay. So even applies in rain, applies on everything that isn't sunny old pavement. So you can keep that in mind for this as well when you do these uh, when you do these kind of sharp turns in the rain.